Hey guys, Kalfazond here. Uh, some pretty exciting news for you. Some of you might have already heard, but most of you probably wouldn't have. This here is our new room. Um, this was uh, kind of our lounge. Anyway, at the moment, all of our snakes are in the bedroom. It's awful. There's too much light, too much noise, too much smell. Terrible. But um, we've got this room now, which is good. And uh, if you see over here, where all these brackets are in various rooms. This uh, is the makings of a new vivarium. Now, this is going to house uh, Pandora, yes, Pandora, our big boa, and uh, a new secret edition that we will be getting. It's not so secret, actually, everybody knows about it, but uh, a new edition that we're going to be picking up next week, maybe the week after. Uh, this viv here is going to be. This bracket here is the floor plan of it. It's uh, seven and a half feet long. Um, it will be five feet tall and two and a half feet wide. So it's a uh, it's a nice big unit. Um, going to be using uh, plywood with uh, polystyrene insulation, which will be uh, carved to look like a nice background. Uh, we're going to have glass doors at the front. Um, the design was um, by Simon Gardner again, um, spoke about him in the last video I made the racks, so thanks Simon for that, um, do like the design, I think it's going to be good. I'm going to be updating this video uh, as the project gets underway, at the moment we've had all of the wood cut to size, um, and we're in the process of varnishing the, uh, the outer pieces so that when we put it together it's uh, nice and shiny, hopefully it's going to look fantastic. Um, also, we're going to be moving all of the Royal Pythons out. We have another room up there. Don't really need to look because there's nothing up there, but another room upstairs. Um, it's quite a small room, but it's going to be plenty big enough. And we're going to fill that wall to wall with uh, racks and rubs. And uh, then we're really going to start covers on reptiles up as best we can. We're going to be getting lots of morphs in, lots of new exciting uh, breeding projects going. It's going to be good times, good exciting times, so I'll be sure to get videos uh, when that all gets underway as well. So, um, yeah, I'm fade into another video now and um, hopefully all this will be done. See you later guys. All it glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway to hell When she gets there she knows If the stars are all closed With a word she can't get what she can Hey guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching the Viv bead made. Um, as you can see, it's it's not 100%. I've still got to do some decoration, but um, we're going to put the snakes in like it is now because it's still a thousand times better than the old Viv they're in. And then all we're going to do is add some lights so that we can see a bit better and add some uh, some ivy and leaves and moss and that kind of stuff to make it look a bit more uh, alive and that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, have a quick run through on how we did this. Um, basically first we made a frame uh, out of 25mm batten, um, some pieces they were um, attached together. Um, the framework was just basically the outside of the viv and then we got marine ply, which is this stuff, and we put it on the top, on the sides, on the back. 
Uh, we use Conti board on the bottom, that's this, if you can see it. We still have one more piece of plywood to stick down here, but that can be done later. Um, once we have the plywood in place, we have crevices on, on each side. So what we've done is we've put um, polystyrene in that'll help insulate the heat. So um, that'll be good, it'll be nice and warm in there for them. Uh, we also stuck these rocks on made out of polystyrene. Uh, they look they look pretty cool, I think. Uh, we have the water bowl in there. That's a 75 litre wrap, I think. Uh, to, for this, we've attached um, some plumbing. We have, uh, we have like a tap here, so that when we want to empty it, it's, uh, it's supported above 100 mil of polystyrene so that we have uh, somewhere for the water to flow down. So whenever we want to empty it, we don't have to lift a huge bloody thing of water out. Because if anybody who has big snakes, then know it's a pain to get that much water in and out of a viv on a regular basis. So we've made this, so uh, when we want to empty it, we just turn it on and uh, all the water flows out. Uh, we can scrub it, we can you know, clean it inside the viv, which is nice. We've got a platform on top just to give them some more room because the water bowl takes up quite a lot. Um, the platform is basically a table that we've painted. The top was 100ml polystyrene that we had left over, so we've made a, a bit of a platform out of that. Um, it's all been, all the polystyrene has been painted with grout and water. Um, after that, that gave us like a, a rock texture. Sorry, I'm too big for these lights. And gave us a rock texture. Um, then we painted over that with acrylic paint. Uh, made it a grey colour, which looks a bit more rock-like. Um, and then we painted over with a sealer. Uh, we used, I think it was water guard. Um, that'll help us wash off any mess that the snakes make on it um, without damaging the rock, especially on the platform, because I imagine they're gonna go up there and mess it up, because that's what snakes do. Uh, we don't have handles on this glass because it's, it's very big and it's very heavy, so we're using this, uh, this glass suction device here. And we open it up and close it, we just turn it off and take the handle off when we're done. We're using ceramic bulb heating up here, we have a nice guard as well. Um, got some wood in there for them to play with. Play. And there's a nice log up there. Oh, we're using um, wood chip and uh, orchid bark um, substrate at the moment. That might change, might not, I don't really know. So. Uh, now we're going to put the snakes in and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to cut now and I'll come back when we're ready to actually put them in. Hey guys, it uh, took us about 20 minutes to get them both in. Um, but as you can see, uh, Pandora's up the front there. She's in the middle of shedding at the moment, so she's gone straight for the water bowl. And our newest addition, this is Pilkington, straight behind her. You can see him down there. He seems to follow her around everywhere, which is quite cute. Uh, he is a CB08 uh, Carl Strain Albino Boa Constrictor. Uh, his name's Pilkington, as I've just said. Uh, he's very cool. We got him from uh, Emsworth Reptiles. <coughs> so they've had a little explore. They seem pretty happy in it. Watched them just cruise around the bottom for about 15 minutes and now they've both found their way up to the uh, water bowl. So Pandora, I imagine, will have a little dunk and a swim. And Pilgrim's gonna probably just follow her because that's what he seems to do best. Although he's trying to get behind the leg at the moment, which probably isn't a good idea. Silly bar. Now, as you can see, Pandora's gotten huge now. She's a massive beast. This Viv is uh, seven and a half feet long, so she'll probably be able to touch both ends. Uh, she's about eight foot something, grand big. Uh, she was recently put onto rabbits, but she doesn't seem to have a taste for them, so we moved her back down to um, jumbo rats and guinea pig. Um, Pilkington will be on probably large rats at the moment. They seem to go on quite well together. Um, not everybody likes to cohabit their snakes, but this is the first time I've done it, so uh, I'll probably update you later with how it's going and if there's any trouble or setbacks. It's uh, great to finally have it finished. Very happy.
Thanks for uh, watching the video and following us with all of our progress on the Viv. Uh, if you want any help uh, making your own or copying anything we've done, send me uh, an email or a comment. Um, let's say thanks to Simon, he gave us the initial design for the Viv. Um, thanks to all my family um, for helping me build it. And uh, everyone else watching the videos for all your support. So thanks a lot guys, uh, catch you later.